Hi everyone, Dr. Sanjeev Gua from Peak Human Labs, and today I have Carmelia with me, and we're going to be talking about hyperbaric oxygen therapy. I love that. I think it's so fascinating because it's not something that everybody knows about. Yeah. And you're about to launch hyperbaric, is it CO2? By, what yeah, is it? <laughs> hyperbaric O2 by Peak Human. It's a clinic here in Brampton where we're going to be opening up three chambers in about two months from now. But wow. So I thought it's a good time to get people understanding what this therapy is about and, mm -hmm. and why they would consider doing something like this. It looks, it, it looks like a, a capsule. Like where exactly. all, uh, the entire body fits in it, right? Exactly, yeah. No, it's a capsule and um, you basically lie in there and uh, you get the treatment done. What um, is actually happening? Yeah, let's take a step mm -hmm. back. What is happening? So the word hyperbaric means uh, increased uh, bariatric pressure and then oxygen. So hyperbaric oxygen therapy. What okay. that means is that high pressure oxygen therapy and normally 100% oxygen. Okay. So if you imagine if you're breathing that, if, if you're breathing 100% oxygen at high pressure, that is what the therapy is about. Can I ask if you have yourself have been in yeah. a hyperbaric chamber? Yes, okay. I have, yeah. I, it, when you say pressure, when you're inside, can one feel the oxygen pressure or it's more, no, you can't you, really, you feel, can't it. really okay. feel it? So when, so at sea level, what we call is we're at one atmosphere. Okay. And uh, so th really what the, uh, this technology has been around for a few hundred years. This idea of p putting people in hyperbaric oxygen therapy was first being used for divers. Because if you can imagine, if you go deep, diving deep into the ocean, mm. you actually increase the amount of pressure. Actually, at even more pressure. So when that happens, there's a risk that when divers come back up too quickly, they mm -hmm. can get the bends. That what, so what exactly is happening with the hyperbaric chamber to the body? Yeah, so what's happening is that we're putting people in high-pressure oxygen uh, environment. Okay. And normally, we're at 21% oxygen. We're breathing it in. And in these chambers, we're breathing in 100% oxygen. And okay. we're normally at sea level. We're at one atmosphere of pressure. Okay. And in those chambers, you can go up to two atmospheres, 2.5 even. When people are put under such a high amount of oxygen and pressure, mm -hmm. then much more oxygen gets delivered to the tissues. And you might be wondering, how, how does that happen? Yeah. <laughs> so the, the way right now what happens is that when you breathe in oxygen at 21% and one atmosphere, your oxygen gets transferred to the hemoglobin molecule. Your hemoglobin molecule transports that oxygen to the different tissues. Okay. And very small amount is dissolved in the plasma of the blood because it's very, we're very lucky that this hemoglobin molecule is just such, it's such a good carrier of oxygen. You don't need a lot of, Sure. you don't need the pressure to be very high. And that's what makes very special because they have figured out a way to use oxygen for energy. So this oxygen is being used to produce ATP energy inside the cells. Okay. So without oxygen, the cell would die. You wouldn't produce any energy. Yeah, I. that's why when people have cardiac arrest or the heart stops... There's no oxygen. Okay. But I guess the thing here that here we're giving a lot extra oxygen. So if you can imagine that by giving extra oxygen, we're going to potentially have some benefits about healing okay. and recovery because these tissues are getting all the oxygen they need to potentially produce enough energy and do whatever they need to do. So they're getting enough and they're getting more oxygen and then some, mm -hmm. but what you're saying is the benefit of more oxygen is faster healing time? Potentially, yes. Potentially, yeah, okay. So right now here in Ontario, there's, the government approves government funding if you have up to, I think, 14 conditions that, you, that are approved treatment for hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So these are... That are covered, covered. by our, o yeah. our OHIP. Yeah, yeah. okay. The, the most common one is the foot ulcers, diabetic foot ulcers. Because what's happening in a diabetic foot ulcer is that there's not enough oxygen to the skin. Okay. And because none of blood flow, there's, these people have poor blood circulation. Okay. And so the skin is not getting enough oxygen, and so it basically forms like a cut that doesn't heal. Oh, and it okay. Forms like a Does that not happen in leukemia as well? There's a, like, you, you're easily scarred more or something like that, or maybe not that? Yeah, is it something thing. different? This, okay. Yeah, this is a blood flow issue. And so you see this in foot ulcers. You can see this, and it's also proof for bone infections. Okay. Sometimes these ulcers will go into a bone infections. So any type of infection. What about burn? 
That's another improved okay. condition. So the thing with an infection is think about it that your body has to again form a response. So if it has oxygen will help basically help kill off an infection. Okay. So it's bringing like air. If you bring air to something, it can help kill off the... There's uh, life in oxygen, right? Yeah, in, in effect, <laughs> right? It brings more energy yeah. and things like that. Is the, can somebody, do you have to have an ailment or can it be also something for somebody just to... Does it have longevity purposes? Or is there a test for that? There is. A, there was a trial done by some researchers in Israel where they showed that the people who did hyperbaric oxygen for about three months had some increase in their telomere length, which was one of those markers for potential longevity. There is some thoughts that definitely could increase in longevity. Okay. And there are lots of people who you would think are, are you know, athletes who are using it for faster recovery. Okay. And uh, Because if... Our bodybuilders, when you say recovery, they tear their muscle, their overexertion, like that kind of thing. And it helps healing. Helps so with any the healing. Type of healing okay. It would uh, potentially help with that. There's many indications out there. Some people are using it for brain concussions. Like I said, post surgery, any type of surgery you have and you want the wound to heal faster. Technically, does it reduce swelling of people or? I, I guess so. If you have faster healing, you potentially right. have less. Okay. Yeah. Like any kind of healing, whether it's Anything. bruising or Anything whatnot. Healing, okay. Yeah, potentially could. What had you interested in, in it? I think it's, it seems like a very promising technology. It doesn't seem to be available so much. And, okay. And I think it seems to have many different potential benefits. So I think that what I want to do today was just give a background on hyperbaric oxygen. I think what we should do is probably do some regular segments on this so people can get a sense of some of these conditions in a bit more detail because okay. there's a lot of research out there now that people are using it for a lot of different purposes. But I think that one thing that might be interesting for our viewers to know is that you hear about people using um, these hyperbaric oxygen therapy at home. And the difference here How is, is that, that they're possible? buying a soft <laughs> hyperbaric chamber, which only goes up to 1.3 atmospheres. So it's, yes, there is extra pressure. And it is increasing, it is in providing increased oxygen, but nowhere near the level of the medical grade chambers that we have here. Mm. It's, an imp it's an important distinction. Those chambers can be done at home, but they're not as strong. And Can I ask about the training? What, who can administer? You have to have a technician who's trained because okay. it is something that is high pressure oxygen. So and are you the trained technician? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we have other people as well. Okay. Because so you have to watch, you have to watch it. Yeah, there's a technician who does that. Okay, <laughs> I just asked because you yeah. talked about being at the sea. So there's no, you can't have, but there is a lot of pressure. So that's why I'm wondering if you feel the, do you get, would you get dizzy? Can you have too much oxygen? Probably. There is an important thing about one of the issues that is that you can't remain at 100% oxygen. It can actually cause what we call neurotoxicity. Okay. So too much oxygen can actually cause damage. Okay. So that's why they give breaks after 60 minutes they give a small 15 minute break to, so that way you don't have what you you don't develop what's called oxygen toxicity so that's an important consideration okay. and also people have had uh, ear problems you oh. can get like barotrauma so for example you can see that when you go into the plane yes uh, you, your pressure changes and you have to swallow and things like that but imagine if you also go scuba diving mm -hmm. your ears hurt too and that's exactly what's happening if you can imagine, you're going down into the ocean. You're actually getting extra pressure. That's a potential thing. If you have history of ear problems, then you could develop some pain, and so we have to be careful about that. So people who have eardrum issues okay. may not be good candidates for this treatment. So it's great that you're making this technology available because it's really not available everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then there's also people who can utilize it for private benefit, like just as you mentioned, yeah, that's a consideration. Yeah, I think it's uh, we're going to be open for the OHIP conditions, but we're also going to be open for those who want to use it what we for call recovery off label, which means okay. that these are some of the things that people are researching, like for example, Alzheimer's and strokes and oh, brain okay. brain injuries and recovery and and various things like that. That's great. I, we're, Dr. Sanjeev we're is always bringing crazy, yeah. amazing, innovative technology to people where it's not always uh, readily available. What would you say you're most excited about with this? I just want to get it open here. Okay. <laughs> We've been getting a long time. We started this before COVID. Wow. And, uh, and now okay. we're finally going to get it going. Awesome. Well, right. check back, guys. And if you have any questions, make sure you put it in the comments below. And uh, Sanjeev will... 
take the time to get you what you need. Yeah, so you can subscribe to this video. Really appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.